In this video, I'll show you how I made my aluminum knife grinding jig. The first thing you'll need is a piece of 3 8 aluminum at least 5 inches by 7 inches. A pack of 832 3 quarter inch machine screws. 1 quarter inch female threaded heim joint. 1 quarter inch wing nut. 1 piece of quarter inch 20 threaded rod. 1 4 pack of 1 and a half inch corner braces. 2 1 and a half inch narrow utility hinges. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. One small lock nut and screw. One and a half by one sixteenth aluminum flat stock, and finally, one hat. Black. Now that we have all the pieces, let's put this thing together. Alright, now it's time to cut the aluminum. I've already made measurements right here, and the measurements I got are located in a PDF down below in the comment section. The picture looks just like this. That, that's not it. That's definitely not it. Who, I don't, who. But seriously, the PDF down below has all the information you need for cutting, drilling, tapping, and assembly. Let's cut some aluminum. The first thing was to cut the aluminum on the table saw. If you haven't done this before, just take your time and please be careful. Oh yeah. Next up was to cut the proper width for both pieces on my portable bandsaw. If you don't have a table saw, you can also cut the length of the aluminum on here as well. Now you have the two pieces ready to go. Let's go, take 30. Right. Hold up, take 30. Next up is drilling the pre-measured holes that are shown in the included PDF down below. Here I use my center punch to mark all the holes before drilling. Now it's time to drill the holes. As you can see here, both the large and small pieces of aluminum require drilling 6 holes for each piece for a total of 12 holes. Now it's time to thread all the holes. For these holes I'm using an 832 tab to go along with the 832 screws I showed earlier, because I'm wicked smart. This next step is a long and very slow process, and sometimes you just gotta keep yourself entertained. My name is Slam Sadie. And just remember when tapping a hole, every half turn you make, go back a quarter turn. It'll save you from breaking tap drills and swearing in your shop. Here I'm just testing one of the screws to make sure the hole was straight and properly tapped. Next up was to cut the aluminum bar and threaded rod. Here I use my calipers to make a level line where the aluminum bar stock will be attached for the knives to rest on. Look at that straight line. Here's what it's going to look like when it's attached. Now back at the drill press, I drill the outside holes first. Once drilled, I use some brass rod to hold the piece in place while I drill the middle hole. Now with all the holes drilled, it was time to countersink them. That's some beautiful countersink. Next up, it was time to make the top hole bigger in the corner bracket to accommodate the quarter inch threaded rod. Once that was drilled, it was time for first assembly. Here is where I tighten everything up on both sides of the jig. 
Once everything is tightened, I then can see where the screws are going to be sticking out from the jig. Here, and here, and here, and here, all around. For this, I first cut off most of the screw shaft on the bandsaw, while leaving a small part of the screw sticking out. Once nice and smooth, I then grinded the aluminum bar flush with the jig. Next was to screw the bottom and the top pieces together. Now repeat the previous steps of cutting and sanding the screws flush. Next screw the heim joint to the threaded rod and then take the lock nut and bolt and run it through the hole of the heim joint and tighten it up. Lastly, screw the aluminum flat bar back on the front of the jig and you're done. Here you can see how to adjust the angle of the jig with the bolt and lock it down with the wing nut at the desired angle. And here is an example on how a knife will look resting on it. And there you have it, a sweet ass homemade knife grinding jig. So here it is, the knife bevel grinding jig. I am super happy on the way that this thing came out. It is super solid. I think it's a really good and inexpensive jig for people who are having trouble getting a nice even bevel on both sides of their blades when they're trying to grind. So here's the thing. I ended up making two of these. Um, long story short, I shot a video for this one and it came out awful, so I had to reshoot it and this is the video that you're currently watching. That being said, I want to give these away to anyone who needs a nice jig for bevel grinding. So instructions will be down below on how to enter. I hope you liked the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, hit the little bell notification every time you want to get notified when I drop a new video. Ding, ding. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.